What is up, friends? My name is Laura. If you've never visited my YouTube channel before, welcome. Today, I am about to do a beautiful hike within Breckenridge, Colorado. I'm going to be doing Indiana Gulch Trail. Since I've been hiking a bunch, my legs are just a little tired. So I wanted to give you a great example of a hike. If you don't want one of those harder hikes, if you have kids with you, or you're just looking for some beautiful views and kind of gonna enjoy Breckenridge the rest of the day. This hike should be around five kilometers. I will make sure to have my Garmin on and let you know at the end and show you some beautiful sights along the way. If you are not already yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future life and hiking adventures all around the world. Let's officially get started now. I am here in mid-July and I was told that this trail does get quite busy. If you're looking to do it, I would recommend doing it earlier in the morning, especially if it's a weekend. I got here to the trailhead around 7.30 a.m. So it's like beautiful, it's kind of crisp out still. And there was only one other car at the trailhead. dogs are allowed on this trail. I'm half the way in here and you can see a beautiful little lake which is a nice place if you're only wanting to go to here and you're wanting a very very short hike basically a kilometer each way this is a great place you kind of can bring the kids you can have a great lunch picnic here so definitely just a great suggestion if you're wanting an even shorter one and So 
I'm basically just at the end. I am at a road here. I definitely wouldn't recommend actually parking on this side because there really isn't any parking. Um, but there, unfortunately, one of the negatives to it is there's never, not really an end, but the entire trail was actually very, very beautiful. Like I said earlier, if you're wanting kind of a break, if you brought some snacks or a meal or anything like that, I'd highly recommend just hanging out at that little lake there um, so that you can kind of get some pretty views and just kind of a nice little picnic area. I know I'm always looking for free things to do in a specific city that I'm in, so hiking is always a great free activity for the most part, but none of the trails in Breckenridge have required kind of paying for parking when you're at the trailhead. Like I said before as well, I think this is the perfect trail to do with a family as a very family friendly option. I hope you did like this video. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much guys. Keep living life. Bye.